Hello, welcome to the Belt Loop 29 channel. <clears throat> I'm Belt Loop 29. I'm recording this on July the 4th, 2021. I have no idea when I'll be uploading it. It may be uh, tonight, it may be a week from now. Regardless, I thought I'd take a minute and uh, I'll just go over at least one aspect of the, the food forest that we've got going on. I am taking a fairly light day today because yesterday was Saturday, my day off, and I spent, you know, uh, all day basically out here either in the food forest or in the garden. Um, I enjoy doing it. It's almost like it's meditative. Uh, it's peaceful anyhow. Today's a nice laid back day and uh, I've come over to come visit my parents and uh, I guess shoot this video. I hadn't intended on it, but such a beautiful day. Anyhow, take a look at the weather we've got out here. See that bird flying in the distance? I don't know what it is. Could be a hawk. Or could be, for that matter, could be a buzzard. Anyhow, uh, I thought I'd take the opportunity to go over blueberries. You know, just tell you a little bit about them. Um, hopefully give you a few tips let's go take a look we currently have six blueberry bushes down here and uh, we'll go and cover each one and at least let you know what variety we've got going on um, this first one that we've got going here I believe that's a Patriot yeah that's the Patriot blueberry there it seems to be doing very well. I mentioned yesterday, yeah, uh, I've done a video talking about uh, mending the soil. You can see this, this plant is doing very well. Of all the blueberry plants that I've planted this year, this may be, have some of the best uh, results. When you're planting blueberries, You've got to check the soil because, you know, a blueberry will thrive when it's between 4.5 and 5.5 pH level. The higher the number, the more alkaline it is. The lower the number, the more acidic it is. So, obviously, blueberries like, you know, acidic soil. And I wouldn't call it slightly acidic because slightly acidic would probably be around a 6.5. I'm just guessing. guess it depends on who you're talking to. Anyhow... You need to go through and uh, amend the soil. An easy way to do that if you need to drop the soil level is, you know, you adding peat moss, about half peat moss, half native soil. But an even better way of doing that is going to be, you know, typically to put, you know, prepare the bed, prepare your bed before uh, you plant. In fact, if you think ahead, it's probably a good idea uh, towards the end of the summer, six months before you plant them, to go through and, and put some sulfur, you know, dig it up, make some sulfur in with the ground. That gives it time to, to uh, well, just set a little bit and uh, get the soil ready. Anyhow, as I mentioned, that first one's a Patriot. We're gonna go over here. This is what is known as an Alachne. Uh, and uh, I'm really liking the size of these blueberries fairly large of course one thing thing that I have learned is that uh, blueberries will go through and uh, on newer growth they will do better than on older growth so uh, by that I mean you know about a three-year-old vine or three-year-old uh, cane on it limbs whatever you do want to prune them occasionally, uh, try to get a good mix of, of uh, vines, whatever you call it, canes, you know, anywhere from one to seven years old. As they start getting older, they get a little woody and they don't produce uh, as big um, a fruit or they're not as prolific. So, you know, one thing you want to pay attention to is, is the age of your canes. I call them canes. It may, I may be wrong on that. Seems that like that's right though. Anyhow, 
Uh, you want to keep them uh, within the first seven years or so and prune off the old canes. You want to go through and, and uh, uh, you know, take good care of them. I've been adding fertilizer to these 40-year-old uh, blueberries that we're going to get to in a minute for about a year. Not quite a year, or at least not when they got damaged. I think it was 10, 11 months. Anyhow, um, that will help them produce, you know, continue to produce big, you know, fruit, big blueberries, sweet blueberries. In fact, I think my mama said that she thought the, the blueberries this year were sweeter than they've been in many years. Um, and they were definitely bigger. I had a lot more new growth on it this year. Um, it's just a shame about those sweet gum trees. Anyhow, this one right here is known as a tiff blue. And I tasted some of the uh, blueberries on this. And they were very sweet. Very sweet. So tiff blue is a really nice one. Apparently tiff blue is very early on its harvest. If you're planning on planting some blueberries, you know, just about like with everything, is they have some that harvest early, some that get ready for harvest early. Some of them uh, are kind of more of a mid-season and some of them, you know, are later season. So I'm just saying that if you can plant it, you might be a little bit happier with your results. Prepping the soil, picking out the varieties or the cultivars you want to use to go through and have it ready just so that you can uh, harvest longer, have more blueberries, be happier with what you got going on. Let's take a look at that next plant. This plant right here is known as a premier blueberry. And I've struggled more with this one than the others. It looks a little rough. You have to keep a close watch on that pH level if you're not preparing the soil early enough and try to keep it healthy enough to where it can go ahead and get those a good set of roots on it and uh, we hadn't had any blueberries off this but it is a uh, it's a work in progress this blueberry plant was planted over 40 years ago by my grandfather Henry Bishop you could say that he's the one that started the food forest out here. Now granted it was just two blueberry bushes you know, when he started. But he was gardening all, his whole life. But I think there can be a distinction drawn between a food forest and a garden. Here's the second one that was planted by my grandfather. And as you can see both these have been pretty devastated. But look how big that one over there is. Compare that with this one. Both of these were taken, you know, out of the wild part of Florida, and that's not like I'm not talking about wild, wild west type thing. I'm just saying out in the out in the woods. It's my understanding, anyhow. But both of them have produced some beautiful blueberries. This one still has some on the. I think the other one does as well. But. Uh, I just enjoy coming out here and, and try to enjoy the fruits of his labor. Basically what I'm saying is take the time if you are interested in blueberries, if you're interested in a forest, a food forest, go through, plan it out a little bit, give it a little bit of thought, and uh, do your thing. Over here in Mississippi, we're doing our thing. If you're new to the channel, thank you for visiting, giving us a chance to earn your viewership. If you're returning, thank you for your patronage, I guess you'd call it. Remember to hit the subscribe button, notification bell, thumbs up button, and comment. You know, we always enjoy hearing what y'all got to say. God bless you. Y'all have a blessed day.